mud in my eye. Oh my god, I got mud in my eye. A mad woman. Well, good morning everyone. Welcome back to my allotment diaries. My name is Emma. These are my allotment diaries. I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much, first of all, for 20,000 of you. Um, I reached 20,000 subscribers over the weekend. I'm absolutely overwhelmed and thrilled with it. Thank you so much if you are one of them who has subscribed to my videos. Every time someone subscribes, it is just amazing to me. I, I just can't believe the amount of people that are here now watching my journey. So just thank you so much. If I'm looking a bit dishevelled, it's because it is so windy out there today. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't get here last week because it snowed. We had a really hard frost, so there was no point doing anything. And then we had torrential rain. The weekend was a bit nicer, so I got loads of seed sown and stuff. I managed to bring a couple of bags of compost down here as well, which I'm hoping just to mulch a couple of beds. But today, it is super, super windy. Whoa. Slightly concerned that my poly tunnel was going to blow away. Fortunately, it looks quite good. The shed, however, is feeling very, very precarious right now. <laughs> Genuinely worried we're going to have a Wizard of Oz situation. Now I'm going to fly away. I'm just looking out there at the wind. It looks, it's really picking up now. I really hope I can get the jobs done that I wanted to do today. Hopefully I will. I wanted to start this vlog with a little bit of advice. Now I don't normally give out advice. So if you're looking for a sort of proper allotment gardening advice, this is probably not the channel. I'm just the person trying to whack it all in and show you that you can just get on with it. So when you guys get a new allotment plot um, and you finally get to the top of that waiting list, I seem to be one of the people that you, like one of the first people that you want to message, um, which I'm so grateful for, it's amazing. But one of the biggest messages I get is what do I do first? What's the first thing that I should be getting on with at my new plot? Firstly, don't come here when it's windy because you might genuinely be impaled by something or blow away in your shed. So don't do that. Um, so I want to give you three pieces of advice the first three things that I would do with a brand new allotment plot. Number one, turn up, bring a planner, you can purchase my planner if you want, or just a piece of paper and a pen and your phone with a camera and go around and just assess your plot and see what's there, what's already growing. So you might have some rhubarb, you might have an old strawberry patch, you might have some crops that still haven't been harvested. So just go around and try and look amongst the weeds and see if there's anything there. Is there raspberry canes? Is there blackberries? Is there something growing? Take a little bit of a, a stock list of what is actually already growing at your allotment plot. Decide whether you want to keep it or not. So if you hate rhubarb, it might be that you're going to dig all the rhubarb out, but if you love it, then you know that you've got rhubarb on your plot already, so it's something you don't have to buy. The second thing that I would do is start clearing it. So start a compost area, or even just make a pile of all the stuff that you pull out. Pull out all the weeds, cut everything back, so you might find some old pathways, you might see the raised beds there, you might think, oh actually there is a bit of structure to this plot, it's just become overgrown. And then that's kind of half the work done for you, because deciding on the structure of your allotment plot is quite difficult if you're if you have a blank canvas i mean it's fun and it's doable i did it but to have some structure there already is definitely like more ideal and thirdly once you start clearing and you've got a couple of raised beds or even just one raised bed that's ready to go plant some potatoes start with the earlies your mains will be able to go in soon but just plant some potatoes a couple of reasons for this Firstly, potatoes are a really long growing crop, so you're going to have something growing on your allotment plot st almost straight away, right? And they kind of get on with it, so you don't have to really worry about potatoes too much. Um, so that could just be whacked in. And secondly, potatoes are really good for breaking up the soil. So they actually, as they grow, they actually break through the soil and they um, give your soil a better structure. So those are the three things that I would do straight away if I was given a brand new allotment plot today. I would assess and write down what's there, clear everything to see if there's some kind of structure and start making a compost pile and plant in some potatoes. And I hope that helps because I do get a lot of uh, questions about that so hopefully that's given you a little bit of advice. And potatoes is exactly what we're going to do today if we don't get blown away. <laughs>
right there we go that should give the cat something nice and new to poo in um, this bed was just for my brassicas because it's quite in the shade um, and it just needed another top up of compost because you could see the cardboard and you could see the manure as well so it just needed another bag of uh, compost so I just had to buy some cheap stuff because I, I haven't got enough in my homemade compost so that looks a little bit better and in a couple of weeks when I'm ready to plant out my brassicas they're all going to go in here because this bed is sort of half shady partial shade and so is that bed over there so these beds are really good for brassicas because they can kind of cope with a bit of shade um, and then that's where my pumpkins are going and that I think is where my potatoes are going to go in for a few years this year I've moved my pumpkins because I think you need to move crops about it's called a uh, crop rotation and it means that basically you move your crops about every year so they don't spread disease and bacteria around and also just to try them in a new soil and replenish the soil a little bit so pumpkins were here now it's going to be potatoes I just want to show you the soil so this is the consistency you're looking for in good quality soil and compost to grow in. So you see I've got it here in my hand, if I squish it together it just crumbles apart. Look at that, like an apple crumble topping, that's what you want, apple crumble topping. So when you squeeze it together like that it kind of goes together but it's very very easy just to break up again. That is good quality soil, that's really good growing soil. And that's because the pumpkins have been there for so long and I've, I've regenerated the soil. I keep, I keep putting new mulch on it and uh, new manure and digging in natural material. And all of that natural material um, will just end up with a really good growing material. So just keep whacking stuff on, basically. That's what I mean. Just keep whacking anything on that's a natural material, but dead. Don't put anything living on it, you know. Um, just dead stuff. You'll get apple crumble soil. That's what you're looking for, an apple crumble topping. So. Right, we're going to whack in the potatoes if we don't blow away. So, <laughs> I've been chitting my potatoes for a couple of weeks now and that basically means I put them in an egg box and then put them on a windowsill but out of the direct sunlight but in a, in a sunny place basically. Um, and this is what's happened. So this is about two weeks worth of chitting. Essentially what's happened is that they sprouted little green leaves out the top of them. They look very alien-like, don't they? Um, anyway, these, this is the top of the potato. So I used to think this was the roots and I planted them upside down. That would be upside down, right? That's the right way up because you want this green stuff to reach the surface. So that's the way we're going to plant them. That's what we're going to do. Whack them in. We're going to do that. And it's so windy, I'm probably not going to be able to talk, so I'll just show you what I'm doing. All right. <laughs> emergency oh we've got an emergency ow 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 on I got mud in my eye oh my god I got mud in my eye oh my god I don't know how to get that out oh, I can see it in my eye oh god ow 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 oh. How did I get mud in my eye? Oh my god! Oh, there's still more in it, I can feel it. Yeah, there it is. Oh, don't go down there. Come on out, you come. Ah! How do I get that out of my eye? Oh, I got it. I don't know how I did that. 
Well, there better not be any worm particles in that. I've got worm particles in my eye. I've got worm particles in my eye. Who thought mud would be so dangerous? Oh, there's a crow on my plot now. There's a crow. Back her off. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Oh, my God. I, I must have just flicked mud right into my eye, but the way the way it went up it was like I was blinded for a second. All I could see was mud. Like Duncan from Biker Grove all over again. Right, okay, we're just going to have to carry on like that. <laughs> right, okay, let's go. What I was trying to do is dig it a little bit longer because I think they need a bit more space between them. I think I've planted them a little bit close together because they're quite big plants. And I think the closer you plant potato plants together the smaller the potatoes are that you get from them so you want to space them out a bit to get big potatoes I think I don't know. So that's about the spacing that we've done I tried to leave it about a foot um, but that's what we've done Forget they're there, sow something else there in its place. Probably. Right, the point is they're in, they're in the ground, we've done it, we've planted them, it's now up to them to make all of our dreams come true and become potatoes. I was just thinking as I was planting them, isn't it weird how we plant a potato to get more potatoes? Like you just put a potato in the ground and it makes more potato and it's the same with like garlic and onion, like, like you plant a garlic clove and you get a bulb from it and it's like a potato, you plant a potato, you get a whole load of potatoes. It's just weird, isn't it? It's just a weird thing. Right, potatoes are in. I'm so relieved we didn't get blown away like the Wizard of Oz. Excellent. I'm glad that I didn't decide to do the pumpkin arch today as well, because I was seriously considering doing the pumpkin arch today, and I was like, it says it's gonna be windy. I don't think that's a good idea, Emma. Now, I did bring something else to sew today, which I'm quite excited about, because it is March. Guys, it is March, if you hadn't noticed. I know we've had snow, but, I am going to put my Californian poppies out, um, absolutely beautiful, beautiful flower. A lot of people think they're weeds, um, and they are in a way, because as soon as you plant them, they're a bit like nasturtiums, they self-seed everywhere, and they just keep coming up, so I will get some coming up this year anyway, without sowing them, but I'm going to put these around my pond. I also brought this, which is a, a wild flower uh, seed shaking kit. So it's from Wilco's, I think it was about five pounds, and it says you can sow it from March to June, and it flowers through June to October. Um, and it's a whole mix of different wildlife loving flowers. So I can see some poppies, corn flowers, um, what else can I identify? <laughs> Not much, if I'm honest. <laughs> uh, what else have we got? Corn flowers, calendulas, marigolds, poppies. Yeah, so loads and loads of like um, pollinating loving flowers also going to whack this around my pond as well so well let's just do it it'll probably all blow away now won't it in the wind but there we go what can we do so i can't sow seeds onto a soil that's too compacted so it's got to have a little bit of something about it otherwise the seeds will just blow away and sit there so i need to break it up just breaking up the surface a little bit so i'm just breaking up the surface a little bit that's all i'm really doing Shake 
well before opening. Seems like the easy bit. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's amazing, that is. I love that. And you can just shake it on. Fantastic. Oh, this is my kind of seed sowing, guys. Oh, I'm in my element here. Oh, my God. Oh, the wind, the wind. Right, okay. Oh, God, it's blowing in my face. It's not the day to spread anyone's ashes. I'm just saying. It's just not the day. It's like we're speed sewing. It's the speed sewing world championship, and I'm winning. A mad woman. God, what must I look like? Find out later when I'm editing it, I suppose. Right. Right, and then we'll just put the Californian poppy seeds over the top as well. I like these seeds. These tend to uh, germinate really, really well. You don't think they're going to do anything, and then all of a sudden, five million of them just grow. So, if you want five million of them, guys <laughs> right i'm aware that today it was probably not the best day to sow wildflower seeds or any tiny seed and definitely probably not the right day to sow my potatoes but we did it and the thing is is yeah okay the weather's too windy to do this really and i'm battling against the elements more than i need to be really but if I always waited for the perfect weather conditions, I wouldn't get any gardening done. I live in the UK and it was snowing last week and then today it was windy, tomorrow it's gonna to be sunshines and really like warm. So I just can't, like I can't, you know, if I was always waiting for the weather to be perfect, I'd probably get about five decent gardening days a year. So I just have to bite the bullet sometimes and come down here. We had a laugh, we had fun, we've whacked in our early potatoes, we've got some wild flower seeds in the ground. We nearly blinded ourselves, but hey, we live to tell the tale and we're gonna see another day of gardening. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna be back again on Wednesday. I'm coming down tomorrow. It's supposed to be really nice weather tomorrow, so fingers crossed for that. I really need to get my pumpkin archway built. I'm so glad I didn't do it today. <laughs> it just would have been a nightmare. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next one, guys. Hopefully my eye will be all fine by then. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.